take you through what you really get when you buy a used engine from eBay. So, hello. So you found yourself a uh, used Metro Turbo engine off eBay and you think, yeah, I'll just throw it to the Mini, it'll be all good. Um, couldn't be further from the truth, generally. So I just want to show you what uh, what a mess the engine I bought was in. Now, when I took it apart, I th well, sorry, when I bought it, I took the top off, took the head off and thought, yeah, the pistons look really clean, no scratching to the bores. How wrong was I? Let's start off with the rings down here. Right. So, first off, when I took it apart, I thought, well, that's a bit weird. Two completely different type of uh, oil scraper rings. One of them in bits. How the hell do you break oil scrapers? I don't know. Middle rings. Fine, they're all the same, all the right size. No weirdness, okay, fair enough. Top rings. Oh, three of them. All right. We'll come to uh, those in a bit. The other one, in three pieces. Okay. Why? Well. Let's look at the pistons. So, when I took the engine uh, head off, I thought, oh, that looks clean. They're all about the same. These are uh, 9.38cc dish pistons designed for your turbo. This one's all right. Smooth movement, absolutely fine. All right, I thought, oh, that's, that's okay. A bit of scuffing on this side, but nothing too bad. Next one I took out. Oh, yeah, Ringland's missing. That's what these bits are. That bit should be, well, there. Okay, I'm thinking, all right, so I need a new piston. Damn. The rods look all right. Ish. Next one. Shit. Total destruction. Uh, and that should move. That's stiff. So, the piston's broken and warped. Scratched. Again, the rod looks alright, I thought. Last one. Same story. Broken ring lands. Stiff as hell. Then I looked. The big end on this one. I don't know if you can tell there. Probably can just see discoloration. Yep. This was so tight, the whole big end has gone blue. Yes, really. Why? Because some numpty who's put this engine together, yeah, it's a bit out of a box, I won't mention names, has mixed up the uh, rod ends. These must be matched to the rods. Some idiot has put these in wrong. So there's an offset between the between the inner and outer. I'll put a, a close-up of this. An offset of nearly half a millimeter, which means this was running really tight on the crank, causing it to heat up, destroyed the bearings. You can see the colour of those in there. If we can get any focus, maybe not, whatever. You can see the colour. That's straight through the copper. Through well through to the copper. Terrible. Alright, so the pistons are boxed. What else we got? Weirdly, the uh, main bearing shells were alright-ish. You know, they're not going to be re reused. Uh, but there's no serious gouging. I mean, there's some wear. This one's got some scratches. These are a bit worn, but nothing, nothing silly on those. So, all right. These were the uh, big end bearings from the other three rods. Quite scraped, quite worn. Not, not through to the copper, but still worn. 
someone had mixed up all of the rod ends and they were all bad. So I've, I've just replaced the rods, it's the easiest thing. Oh, yeah, these bits of course can go with the pistons. What next? These are totally knackered thrust bearings. Don't know if you can quite catch that, but they're discoloured. These have got hot. The standard size, 000. They've got all three, all four of them have got so warm, they've scraped, scratched, scratched up badly. They've warped, and this one's even cracked. In the bin. Push, push rods. What can go wrong with push rods? Nothing except this one, which is. in the bin. Cam followers. These do go, but this one is... Let's try and get a reflection on there. Pitted heavily. Three of them pitted heavily. The rest are kind of worn. They were going to be replaced anyway, so no biggie. The crank surprisingly survived fine um, so I've had it reground um, cranks good it's nitro carburized crank so it was hardened from the factory which is which is fine all right so that's the engine uh, massive expense all right let's go on to the gearbox so I fitted a uh, set of uh, straight cut gears from MED these are the old gears, they're fine, they're not worn, um, there's no weird pitting. Oh, I'll also mention the the engine block itself, the um, oil pressure bypass plunger had seized in place because of bits of grit and crap that have been sucked through, which probably explains some of the wear on some of the parts I've seen. Um, it, the sump was full of shit as well, so that's fine, Gears, the, old, the old gears are absolutely fine. Um, there's no unusual wear on those at all. They're actually quite good. Um, the uh, all the teeth are absolutely fine, so that they can be used on something else. Not going to yet, yeah, obviously, but they're fine. Uh, bearings out of the box. I replaced them all anyway while I was rebuilding. There's absolutely no point not. They were all okay, except the main bearing, which uh, holds the, the output shaft. Um, a broken, broken cage in there. So that's scrap as well. Yeah, they're not expensive, really. Beetle bearings, average. Right, let's move on to the uh, last bit, which I replaced with a cross pin diff. This is one of the main things that you'll you'll find with turbo engines, boxes, when they've been thrashed, they will eat through the uh, the pin. I'll do a close-up of this, but where these gears have been spinning on it, uh, there's a massive amount of wear there, gouged gouged out of it. There's probably near on half a millimetre of, uh, of wear, one side and the other side, obviously, because it, it's pushed round. The, uh, that, I tell you, if you'd run that, it's near on a millimetre that side. If you'd run that in a decently built turbo engine, that would snap the first time you took off. You'd be back having to rebuild it. So fit a cross pin, for God's sake. If it's out of turbo mini, sorry, out of turbo at all, these will be knackered. The uh, thrust bearings pitted horribly. Maybe they ride on there. Again, there must have been huge amounts of crud running around in this engine because it's quite quite worn. Well, the cage is okay, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So, you buy a £600 engine and you think, that'll be all right. How wrong you are, probably. So until next time, 
it's goodbye from me and goodbye from me.